So we're going to start by opening up a new space at equatio.texhelp.com. I'm going to give it a title just for organizational purposes. So I'm going to call it how to use Desmos. And we're going to look at a bunch of different things like inserting graphs, getting the points so that they will be labeled when you insert them, creating a table of values, importing an image, lots of different features that you have access to in Equatio Math Space. So I'm going to start by opening Desmos and I'm going to graph a line y equals 2x plus 1 and I'm going to highlight the x and y intercepts. If I do insert graph now, all that shows up is the graph and the two point, points that I highlighted, they don't show up anymore. So a workaround to have the points show up is to add actual coordinates. So 0, 1 is the y-intercept and if you click label, it will show up on the graph. Then I'm going to label the x-intercept at zero, negative 0 0.5 and 0. And you can see the points have shown up. If you want to use a word instead, so I'm going to call it x-intercept, you can also change the location of where the point is. So for here, I'm going to change it so that it's below. And you can also change the font size if you want it to be larger or smaller, depending on what you're, lo what you're looking for. So I have those points there. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to actually give it a legend per se or, or identify what the equation of the line is. So I'm just going to pick a point that's close to the line. I'm actually going to change it from 1, 0 to 1, 1 so it's a little bit raised. I'm going to select label and then I'm going to type the equation in so that it shows up. Then I'm going to change the color. Um, of the line. Actually, in this case, I'm not changing it, but I could hold it down and change it. I'm going to change its position. By turning off the point, the point doesn't show it up anymore, but the label does. So now when I insert, you can see that I have all of those labels are now on the graph. So I want to edit it now. So I just selected the graph and hit edit graph. I'm going to duplicate my graph and I'm going to generate a table of values. So this is often useful for being able to look at relationships. To take a screenshot, I'm doing my Windows Shift S, and then it takes me to a clipboard where I can then save the image. Saving the image is very important because you can only import images into Equatio Math Space. You can't copy and paste straight in there. So then I've saved this table of values that I took directly from my Desmos graph. I go to the import file. Then I'm going to go to my image file that I have uh, created on Google Drive and find the file that I just saved. So here's the table of values and I'm going to open. And then I'm just going to move my equation over here. Sorry, not equation, my table of values. 